even though they went in together 500 and plus but when it came for God to touch he touched individuals we may come to the same church but I am different we may be a crowd in the choir but I am different we may serve in the same department but I am different my difference is not that I'm righteous because I'm not like that Pharisee who goes to God and says you look at this taxpayer tax collector you know this guy this guy is not a Christian and, and you see we have all this that, that guy is not a Christian and he says but for me look at me God I pray five times a day I give my tithe I'm a good man God God I'm really a good man Jesus says there is no good except God. There is no one good except. And some of you who think you are better spiritually good than others. Let me tell you, you are on the wrong way. You are on the wrong road. If you are going to massacre, you are headed to Arua. But, but, but you are still on the road. You think, ah, the road, yeah, this is massacre. The road is good. You got around the, this whole thing of thinking, oh, I think I'm better than her. Better than who? You. Even Jesus himself. Matthew 19, 17. Can we, let's read together. Uh -huh. So he said to him, why do you call me? This is Jesus. No one is what? But one that is. Is no one, no one, Right? When God says no one, it means no. So why are other people thinking for them they are better to choose another one? Jesus is not coming back for this building. This whole circus I see today. Why should it be there? And that's why these religions are now laughing. Because this is what they wanted. This is where their laughter is. Because there are many people right now who are responsible, who are leaving these born again churches and they are going back to their religions. I pray for you, don't be caught up in this. Don't. In fact, you see it on social media, just don't even listen, scroll away. It does not build you. In fact, people ask you at work, tell them no comment. Yeah, you are looking at me because you love participating in this. You're not even, uh, your pastor, your apostle is giving you instructions. You're just, this is where you'd be clapping and say, thank you, man of God. This saves me. saying something different from your mouth and yet it is not coming from your heart it's just telling your wife I love you but you don't mean it but because you went in a seminar and they say you need to keep telling her every day just there are people in this church I hear this is I will die for my sister what come on stop lying us I'll die for you my sister die. Can you die like Jesus died? Apostle, I will die for you. You can't die for me. You can't. Because Jesus told them that all of you will leave me. All of you will go. When he was going to the cross, he said, all of you will depart, depart away from me. But my father will be with me. Is one thing I want to promise you. They may all go. The family may choose you. Your brothers and sisters may say stuff. They may segregate you. They may do whatever. But let me tell you, stay with your God and keep silent. Keep quiet. One day, your silence will answer for you. One day, God will come through and show that he has been with you. 
don't entangle yourself with what God has not called you to entangle with. It's time to be you. And let people misunderstand you. It's okay. I'm not coming to your heaven. I'm going to the heaven of the one who knows me. If people had the ability to have to give the cards to, to access or be a member of heaven, man, we would be in trouble. I don't think anybody of us will go to heaven. Eh? Who, who gets a yellow? Who gets a red? Who gets green? Who gets what? And it is a person who is writing. Come here. Hey, you. Ah, no, 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 no. You don't deserve it. But thank God Jesus Christ of Nazareth who is not a, he's not a respect of persons that when we came with our burdens and when we came with all everything, he says, come as you are. Am I talking to somebody? He said, come as you are. Even though your sins are as red as crimson, I will make them as white as snow. Lift both your hands and say, I come as I am. This whole thing of, of thinking we are a crowd, we are a group, we are people, and so on. That's where people have misled you. Because being part of the bandwagon, somebody will always decide for you. And because it's a group, our group leader said, So what? Go with your group. I go with the shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. And I shall not want my sheep here. My, not voices, voice. I'm tired of drama. Slap your neighbor and say no more drama. Christians are so dramatic. Spiritual, this one I know. Why is he there? Why is, he, why is she in the choir? I usually see that girl somewhere. You, you see her somewhere. You where are you when you are seeing her? This whole thing of self-righteous. Self-righteous. I see her. I see him. I say, it's time we got back to the Bible. It's time we get back to being real with our lives. It's time we streamlined our lives. That at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, it's going to be you and God. Not the congregation, not the crowd, not the people. You are accountable to your God. And to the man... Maybe you've decided, or woman, you've decided to give your accountability as your spiritual guidance. The, the fire sat on each. The idea is that the fire came, but eventually on each. Raise our hands, oh God, in praise and worship, oh God, as we raise our voices tonight, oh God, in adoration of the name that was given unto us. As we raise our voices tonight, oh God, we say, come and have your way, great God that you are. Come and move among us, your people, great God that you are, and have your way, God, and have your way, oh God. Tonight
tonight our faith is raised to you God tonight our hopes are in you God from early in the morning till late at night oh God our only hope is you God that's why we come tonight oh God that's your only hope oh God we come to you tonight oh God saying you're the only hope that we have our faith is in you God expectations are in you God because we know God you're too faithful God to fail us you're too faithful God to leave us halfway you're too faithful God to disappoint us you're too faithful God to give us the, the hands of our enemies God tonight oh God we come because we know we come with, because we know we are too oh my God in your name you shall be the minister oh God tonight oh God we know my God more than anything that your presence is in this place we know my God more than anything that your power is evident in this place tonight you know God more than anything oh God that your anointing is at work among us in this place oh God as we raise our faith as we raise our expectations as we raise our faith and raise our expectations in the Lord the Bible says our expectations shall not be cut short even tonight oh God we believe and we know that our expectations shall not be cut short because we believed our expectations shall not be cut short because we believed on the God of the impossible because we believed on the God that does miracles saints and wonders because we believed on the God that is too faithful to keep his word because we believed even tonight oh god we raise our hands and say come and have your way great god that you are come and move great god that you are we are ready for your presence god we are ready for your presence tonight oh god we are ready for a touch from you tonight oh god we are ready to see you tonight oh god we position our hearts oh god in your presence oh god so that we may receive from you god we position our hearts oh god in your presence oh god that we may receive from from you God we position ourselves this night oh God to receive from you God to receive from you God and expectation shall not be cut short and expectation shall not be cut short someone raise your voice tonight and tell the Lord I come carrying some expectations in your presence expectations of your move oh God expectations of your power oh God expectations of your anointing oh God we come expectant oh God we come expectant in your presence oh God as a ministry God as members oh God as ministers in this place oh God we come expectant oh God we come expectant oh God we come expectant in your presence and we know surely well that the expectations shall not be cut short. Our expectations shall not be cut short, oh God. But we shall believe to the saving of the soul. But we shall believe to the saving of the soul. Even tonight, oh God, we come once again in your presence. Believing, oh God, we come once again in your presence. Expectant, oh God, we come once again in your presence. Believing, oh God, we believe in your power, God. We believe in your anointing, oh God. We believe in your power, oh God. We believe in your anointing, oh God. Oh, someone raise your voice tonight and tell the Lord I come expectant. Just raise your voice online, just wherever you are. Just raise your voice and tell him, God, even this evening I come expectant. And tell him, oh God, even tonight I come expectant. And tell him, oh God, even tonight I come believing. And I shall not compromise my faith. Because it said in your word, if you promise, oh God, you shall keep your word. Tonight, oh God, we know fully well that you shall wash over your word. You shall wash over your word that you spoke unto us this season. You shall wash over your word, oh God, that you spoke to each and every one of us for this season, oh God. You're washing over your word of uncompromising faith, oh God. You're washing over your word tonight to perform it, oh God. You're washing over your word that concerns our lives, oh God. You're washing over your word to perform it tonight. Someone raise your voice and tell the Lord, wash over your word, God. Wash over your word, God. Wash over your word of this season, God. And perform it for my sake. And perform it for my sake. And perform it for my sake. And perform it for my ministry, God. And perform it for my family, God. 
Wash over your word tonight, God. Wash over your word tonight, oh God. And perform me tonight. Someone raise your voice wherever you are. Just raise up on your feet and tell the Lord, tonight I come expectant that you may wash over your word that you spoke unto me, that you may wash over your every promise, oh God. Give it unto me. Wash over your word tonight. And perform me to God. And perform me to God. Your word says that you're washing over your word. You won't let any word come back to you void. You won't let no word come back to you void, oh God. There was that you promised us in this place. There was that you promised us in this place, oh God. We come pressing our demand. Saying, wash over that word, oh God. Saying, wash over that word, oh God. You keep your word, oh God. To perform me to God. You keep your promises, God. To perform them, oh God. Even tonight, oh God. If you say you shall deliver us. We press a demand, oh God. And say, perform the deliverance, oh God. If you said you shall heal us, oh God. We say, wash over your word. And heal us, oh God. If you say you shall prosper us, oh God. We say, wash over your word. Oh God, and prosper us, oh God. Someone press a demand on the word of the Lord tonight. Just press a demand on the word of the Lord tonight. He says in his word that he exalts his word even above his name. He exalts his word even above his name, oh God. Tonight we press a demand on the word. Tonight we press a demand on the word, on every word, oh God. We press a demand of God. We press a demand of God on every word of God. We press a demand of God. We press a demand of God on every declaration tonight, oh God. We press a demand of God on every prophecy tonight. You exalt your word even above your name. You exalt your word even above your name. Tonight, oh God, we say perform your word. We say perform your word, oh God. We are ready and willing, oh God. We expect them to see, oh God, the performance of your word tonight. We expect them to see, oh God, the performance of your word tonight. In this very season, God, we expect them, oh God, to see the performance of your word. Someone raise your voice and tell the Lord, I'm expecting to see the performance of your word. I'm expecting to see God, the performance of uncompromising faith. I'm expecting to see, oh God, the performance of position of the land. I'm expecting to see God, the performance of unlimited favor. I'm expecting to see, oh God, the performance of power. I'm expecting to see, oh God, the perspective. The performance of God of buying without money. I'm expecting to see God. The performance of every word of God. The performance of every word of God. We come expecting tonight, oh God. We come expecting tonight, oh God. We say, Come and have your way, God. Come and have your way, God. Something happens when you move among us, your people, God. We say move tonight, oh God. In the praise and the worship, we say move tonight, oh God. At the ministration of the word, we say move tonight, oh God. We say move among us, your people, God. We say move among us, your people, God. And perform your word. And perform your word, oh God. To each and every one of us, oh God. To each and every individual in this place, oh God. To those online, oh God. We say perform your word. To those online, oh God. We say perform your word and break every bondage, God. God, and break every bondage, oh God, and heal the sick, oh God, and the dead shall be raised, oh God, at the performance of your word tonight, oh God, at the performance of your word tonight, oh God, every sickness is healed, every bondage is broken, every captive set free at the performance of the word of the Lord tonight. Something is happening, something is changing, the atmosphere is changing because the Lord of hosts is performing his word. Because of the Lord of hosts, he's performing his word. Something changes tonight. Something changes tonight. Perform your word, oh God. Perform your word, oh God. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish 
what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it for God. Let your word prosper, God. Let your word prosper tonight, oh God. Let your word prosper tonight, oh God. Hey, The prosperity of your word. The prosperity of your word in this service, oh God. The manifestation of your word. It shall come back void. It shall come back void. We shall miss out on this word. We bless ourselves. We position ourselves to receive of the manifestations of this word. Tonight, oh God, in your presence. We say, come and perform your word. Come and do the things that only you can do by your word, oh God. Come and meet each and every one of us at our points of need by your word, oh God. The psalmist said, I desired your word more than necessary food. Tonight, oh God, we desire your word more than necessary food. Tonight, oh God, we desire your word more than food, oh God. We desire your word more than the approvals of men. We desire your word, oh God, more than the words of men. We desire your word, oh God, more than any person, oh God. We desire your word, oh God, more than necessary food, oh God. That's why we come in your presence as ministers, as members, oh God, as online church, oh God, from the near and from the far, God. Desiring your word, oh God. Your word draws us in your presence, God. Your word keeps us in your presence, oh God. He says, I have not departed from the commandments of his lips. I've treasured the words of his mouth more than necessary food. Your word, oh God. Perform your word, oh God. Perform your word, oh God. Tonight, oh God. If there is anything that we came for, it's your word, oh God. If there is anything that we desired, oh God, it's your word, oh God. If there is anything that we yearn to see, God, it's the performance of your word tonight, oh God. That word of uncompromising faith, oh God. That word of possession of the land, that word of favor, that word of unlimited power. Tonight, oh God, we say, come and perform your word. Come and perform your word, oh God. It shall come back to you void. No, it won't come back to you void, oh God. It shall accomplish something for me. This word tonight shall accomplish something for me. This word tonight shall heal someone tonight. This word shall deliver someone. Your word, oh God, your word, oh God. Perform your word tonight, oh God. Perform your word tonight, oh God. Because we desire your word more than necessary food, oh God. And as we lay ourselves in your presence, oh God, we say, come and fill our cups, Lord. We leave them unto you, God. Come and fill us tonight. In your presence, with your word, come and fill us, oh God. In your presence, come and fill us, oh God. As we raise our cups to you, God, we say, fill our cups, oh God. Until we want no more, fill us, oh God. Until we desire for nothing else but your word, fill us, oh God. Until we desire nothing but your presence. Fill our cups, Lord, and fill us, oh God. Someone just raise your hands until the Lord that tonight you may fill me, God. That tonight you will fill me, oh God, with your word, oh God, that you'll fill me and satisfy me, God. And that nothing shall compromise my faith, oh God, because I was satisfied in your presence. Nothing shall compromise my faith, nothing shall dilute my faith. Because I was satisfied in your presence, oh God. You satisfy my soul tonight, oh God. With the very best of heaven, you satisfy us, oh God. With the fullness of your love, you satisfy us, oh God. With your mercy and your grace, you satisfy us, oh God. With your very love, oh God, that abounds by the day, you satisfy us, oh God. Jesus, we give you praise, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. Our souls are desperate tonight, oh God. And if there is anything that we're desperate for, God, it is your word, oh God. And we say, come and have your way, great God, that you are. And move among us, your people, God, tonight. With every hand lifted to you, God. 
in expectation of your presence and your power, God, in expectation of the move of God tonight, we say, have your way, God. We say, have your way, great God that you are. And when all has been said and done, oh God, we shall need to see the performance of your word over our lives, oh God. And Father God, as we begin this service, we say, come and have your way. Many are tired, many are broken, many are weary, God. But if there is something that your presence does, oh God, is restoration, oh God. And tonight we say by your word, restore us, O oh God. As we praise and worship your holy name, we say restore us, O oh God. To every individual, oh God. Those that are near and those that are far, O oh God. We say meet us, O oh God. Meet us, O oh God. That we may receive nothing but your presence. That we may receive nothing but your word, O oh God. That we may receive nothing, O oh God but the very bread that comes from heaven. And after all has been done, oh God, we shall not compromise our faith because your presence kept our faith firm. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome into the presence of the Most High. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you look wonderful. Come on, find a neighbor. Find a neighbor. Esther, find a neighbor. Hallelujah. Tell them you look wonderful. And the fact that you are early in this place, you're going with every blessing that is for Ali but Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We know who we are in this season of uncompromising faith. Hallelujah. Amen. We are victors. We leap over walls. Hallelujah. Amen. We are great women and men of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We conquer and nothing can stop us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Do I have some people who know who they are in the presence of God? Do I have some people who know who they are in the presence of God? Come on, smile and behave like you know who you are in the presence of God. Shelele Kayatea. Hey. We are a chosen generation called for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We've been called for to show His excellence. Ah. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. Say we are. We are a chosen generation. Lord, for to show His excellence. All I require, all I require for life, God has given me. I know, I know who I am. We are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. We've been chosen for such a time Lord, as this. Lord, for to show His excellence. All I require for life, all I require for all life, I require. God has given us. Shelekaya. I know who we are. We are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. We bled to the show his excellence. All I require for life. All I require every for life. And every and every other that the Lord has desired I know I have. Who I am. We are a chosen generation. We are a chosen generation. Born for to show his excellence. All I ever require. All I require. All for I life. ever God is required. 
came together and they were confused this is what I like I liked I, I, I like it when you get to a level with God and you leave people confused because these all people interpreting your life they know whatever about you should end about here you must leave a confuse the confused and stay focused on the Holy Ghost let them be confused they don't understand you. It is okay. Don't ever feel guilty when people say we don't understand him. I mean, who, where is it written that thou shalt understand me? They were all confused. <laughs> From outside, the people that are outside your anointing, outside your influence, outside your dream, must stay confused. Politicians have learned this and the church doesn't learn. Politicians studied this. Confuse the, the, the voters. Confuse them. <laughs> Ali Pastor Benji can tell you, he's a journalist, he's always among them. You can now see what is going on in, in Uganda. Confuse. So now, those who are die hard of this, they are confused. Even those that were in leadership are confused. But there is a confuser. Be personal. Understand your God. And, and seek the vision. And pursue what God has called you as a person. Whether you die in the line of fire, it is okay. You died for a cause. Some of us have escaped many things because we are willing to put our lives in the line of fire it means God gave a believer the word to dwell in them richly but not only have the word but in all wisdom in other words you can have the word you can understand what the word God says but if you don't have the wisdom on how to apply it it's still going to be a problem the word of God dwells in you richly in all what? Wisdom. What I find lacking in the church today is wisdom. People don't have wisdom. And I know why people don't have wisdom or why they don't apply wisdom. Because there is nothing you are draining from, uh, getting from. Because if you are picking from something, some of you the reason why you are smart at work, because you are picking from some experience you got when you are at university. 
you are picking oh this is what we did when he talks about counting accounting this is what we learned the reason you went to school you were to accumulate knowledge so that that knowledge can be useful in your career some of it you've learned by experience but your foundation has been because of the knowledge you, you acquired you are looking for school fees and struggling with rent in that house nobody was there now you have built a beautiful house everybody oh where shall we have the meeting oh so and so has good gardens oh my god I, you can only come to my gardens if i permit you <laughs> eh? wedding wedding Hey, so and so as the, a, a, a nice car. A nice car. Come on, you're just seeing the car. You don't know when I was. Come on. It, the choice is mine whether I'll give you a car on your wedding or what. And if I don't give you my car on your wedding, it's no offense in heaven. It's not a sin. It's a decision I make. Yeah. I can either give it to you or not give it to you. So if you're going to take offense that I didn't give you the car or I didn't pay your honeymoon hotel, I, your, your honey, I pay for your honeymoon or I didn't contribute this much, come on. In other words, feel it yourself. In, in this world, when it comes to pursue your dream, sometimes you got to cut off some things that can distract you from where you're trying to get. How many here want to arrive at a certain destination? You want to get somewhere in life. That's your dream. And there's going to be so many things that are going to come and try to rip you. Huh? rip you apart before you get there some of you right now you've been ripped apart by the very people you loved you've been ripped apart by the very people you trusted the very people that came to your house every single day and they were having granites and, and tea with milk and bread and eggs and whatever today they are now the ones that are talking against you so there are many people who want to be closer to your success but they never wanted to be closer to your process that's why the bible says let your yes be yes and your no be no if you tell a member or anybody man i won't be able to do it because the problem with us africans is all the time even when we want to say no we, we say yes but in behind our heads we know we're not gonna do it it is better you offend them right there and let them deal with it.
Kawasayuni, Kawasayu, 
Kabaka wechi fachio Kabaka wogula muwange Kabaka wogula muwase Oli Kabaka wasayuni Kabaka wasayuni Kabaka wendenge kuimi Kabaka wasayuni Come on. 
few minutes, child of God. May the Spirit of the Lord fill us tonight. We are vessels presented to Him. vessels of silver they are vessels of gold but father tonight we pray that we might be vessels that are desirable for your use oh god oh god oh god may you fill us tonight fill us by your glory oh god fill us with your power oh god many a times oh god we are empty oh god we are empty in our walks of life oh god we are empty with our desires, O oh God. We are empty with the things that pertain and concern us, O oh God. We are empty with our businesses that we take. But tonight we come and surrender before you, O oh God. And we pray that you may fill us. Fill us with your spirit, O oh God. Fill us with your joy. Fill us with your glory. Fill us with your anointing. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your healing. Fill us with your salvation. Fill us with the faith. Oh God, we are surrendered before you. We are surrendered this night, oh God. We invite your presence amidst us. For Moses reminds us that God, without you, we are going nowhere. And tonight, oh God, even as we enter into this session, we are moving nowhere without your presence, O oh God. We invite your presence amidst your children. We invite your presence in this auditorium. We invite your presence in our homes. We invite your presence in our television sets. We invite your presence on every gadget this evening. And we pray that, Lord, may your presence fill us. And the Bible says when Moses came from the mountain, the presence of the Lord was visible. He shone and no one would see him. Everyone that saw him could see the bright and shining of his face. And tonight, O oh God, even as we come before your presence, I pray that by the end of this service, our faces shall radiate your glory. That our faces shall radiate your glory, O oh God. Father, we thank you and bless you. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we exalt you tonight. 
we exalt you for your presence, oh God. For there is nothing like your presence, oh God. There is nothing like your presence, oh God. Your presence makes us whole, oh God. In your presence, there is deliverance. In your presence, there is healing. In your presence, there are answers. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. And Father, we are happy tonight. We are grateful tonight that we've been accorded the opportunity to stand before your presence. We have been accorded the opportunity to stand before you, O God. And Father, we pray that your presence may be strong. We pray that tonight your presence may be strong. May you come and break every chain. Yes, Lord. May you come and break every chain. May you break every chain. May you break every bondage. May you break every bondage. Every mountain may be made low. Every valley may be leveled. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. 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 Give all that we can do tonight. All that we can do tonight. Bless your name. Lord, what we are going to do, O God. Yes, Lord. Direct us tonight, O God. Direct us tonight, O God. Direct our hearts, O God. Direct our path, O God. Shine the light on our path. Shine the light on our path. That you may find us with faith. That you may find us with faith. The Bible tells us that if the Son of Man comes, will he find faith among men? Will, we, will he find faith among men? Will he find faith among men? And I choose to be one of them. I choose to be one of them. I will remain activating my faith. I will remain activating our faith. Someone activate your faith tonight. The faith of the word. For the Bible says, faith comes. The Bible says, faith comes. It only comes. It only comes. It only comes by hearing. By hearing. And hearing. And hearing. The word of God. And tonight we've come before you to listen to your word. Tonight we've come before you to sharpen our faith. Tonight we've come to activate the faith. Tonight we've come to activate the seed in the inside of us. That mustard seed. The mustard seed that has been planted in the inside of us. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the growth of faith. We thank you for the growth of faith in the inside of us. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. You. We glorify your name. We exalt you. We magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Someone put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Just turn to your neighbor. Welcome them in the presence of the Lord. Tell them it's good to see you this Wednesday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome those that are tuning online. Let's, let's put our hands together and just welcome those that are tuning online. Thank you very much for, for, for joining us. Share that link. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Invite your friends. Invite your family. Invite your boss. For the Lord is going to do us well. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to ask you to sit down in the presence of the Lord. As we prepare to give. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before we give. In this house. 
Monyombeno. We give with revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to read the Bible from the book of first from the book of uh, first Chronicles 29. Amen. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 29 verses 14. And this was David. Hallelujah. The Bible says, But who am I? And who are my people that we should be able to offer so willingly as this? For all things come from you. And of your own we have given you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. This was a man that was after God's heart. He, he is reminding us. And he says, Who am I? And who are my people? These were the children of Israel when they were offering before God. That we should be able to offer so well. Willingly, as this, for all things come from you, and of you, your own, we have given you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, this verse reminds us that nothing that we have, that nothing is in our possession, is ours. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. including yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and tell them you are not your own. You are not your own. Did I hear someone say, Leave me alone? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So you are not your own. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And David acknowledged this. And said, Who am I? And who are my people? That we should be able to offer so willingly as this. And this offering was if, if we were to quantify it, these were offerings in thousands of animals. Hallelujah. There were sheep, there were cattle, animals, birds, and they brought them before God. And with an acknowledgement in their hearts that all the things that we've done, all the things that we have accumulated, everything that we've received, it has been the power of God. It has been the hand of God. Hallelujah. And this evening I want to encourage you that there is nothing that is in your possession. There is nothing that is with you that is out of your power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us might be professionals. Some of us might be very astute uh, business people. Some of us have all the strategies and ideas. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and sometimes when we get out there to the field, and we see how the clients flow to us, and we see how we present ourselves in the public, and we see how people run to us for, 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 for advice, sometimes we get so big of ourselves and can, can, can imagine that it's through our power. Some of us might think it's through the, the, the great education that we have achieved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm here to remind you this evening. I'm here to remind you this evening that all the things come from God. And the the, 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 the earlier you acknowledge that these are God's things, the better is for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This evening I want us to give 
to the Lord. We are just giving what belongs to him. We are just bringing back what he has given us. God has blessed us this week. He has blessed us this year. He has blessed us in the past. And it's not the last time he's blessing you. And why don't you come to him with what he has blessed you with? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to rise up on our feet. Just lift up that offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, give Bible cheerfully. Give cheerfully. Give willingly. David reminds us and he said, we, we offer willingly. Let, it, let this not be a compulsion. Not because people are coming to give, you want to give. But, but let, let it be out of a revelation in the inside of you. That what you're giving is just for God. It is God's. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it reminds us. It says, give and it shall be given to you. Full measure. Pressed down. Shaken together. And running over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many people want their bands to run over? Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for your children. As they come willingly to give, I pray that may you give them the promises. Deliver the promises that you have over their lives. I pray that you may increase them. I pray that you may protect them. I pray that you may cover them. I pray that you may lift them. I pray that may your goodness shine upon them every single day of their life because they are living according to your precepts and they have come before you tonight to offer willing bless them increase them elevate them in the name of Jesus we pray and believe amen and amen come and give amen Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. And all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for this wonderful Wednesday. That the Lord has given us for it is the day that the Lord has made that will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to first of all honor the anointing for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Dad and mom I want to appreciate this opportunity to stand before the children of God. It's not, it's not a light uh, uh, it's not a light appointment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for that. And may God continue blessing you. Dad and mom. As you continue ministering to our spirits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a son in the ministry. I want to appreciate the, the years that we sat under this anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it never crossed in our minds. Most of us, the ones I speak to, that will get such opportunities. But we want to thank our dad and our mom for having faith in us. What a season that we are speaking about faith. 
kuogera kukukiriza hallelujah and faith is believing okukiriza kwe kukiriza and, and when i was looking into into the definition of believing bwabadde atunula mu ngeri je chinyonyolo ekigambe ekyo you don't believe. believe what you've proven tokirize echo choka kasiza hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord you, you don't believe you, do, you don't believe in what you've proven tokiriza mu echo choka kasiza you believe in what you've been told okiririza mu echo chogambidwa you've not seen ngatochirabangako but deep in the inside of you nae mondayo you believe that is the truth okiriza ntigega mazima hallelujah hallelujah this season of in this season of of of, of faith mubiro bine byo kukiriza okutekira and compromising faith i want to just speak about faith briefly. hallelujah hallelujah I, I want i want to us to, to to just delve deeper into faith hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord the bible says it is impossible to please god without faith so it means that faith is part of our believing chitegeza kukiriza chitundu kubukiriza bwa as a christian ngaba part and parcel of faith ngaba kristayo oli chitundu kukukiriza because there is no way god can be pleased without faith tewali ngeli katonda jasa nyuka nga tewali kukiriza abeblani ya 11:6 but without faith it is impossible to please him awatali kukiriza tosola musanyisa for he who comes to god kubango vya jeli katonda must believe that I know, he is i know kukiriza anti ali and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him ntirayo ya asa sura baba munonya mu bwesimbu praise the name of the lord enyali akatonda liye bazibu praise the name of the lord enyali akatonda liye bazibu praise the name of the lord enyali akatonda liye bazibu i want to appreciate the, 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 when dad was speaking uh, this past week njagalo kusima tata bo yabadde ayogera weekend we did about faith and said when faith comes in yayogedde ntyo kukiriza bwe kuyingirawo fear please o kutia kuduka hallelujah 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 so when we are talking about faith we tokera kukukiriza there is also the element of fear wali wono kutia mabali yao and most of us abamu abasinga on a daily kubulirunaku live a life of fear tubera mu bulamu obwo kutia amen amen how many of you how many of you relate with me bameka abachitegera chenjogera ko we live a life of fear hallelujah and, and this is just this is just by design of our lives hallelujah when god created us in the inside of us there is a component of of, of the spirit there is a component of the soul but there is also the body but the body that we have has its own needs for us to maintain this body it has its own needs hallelujah and, 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 and the majority of of us maintaining our body there are things that we desire of of it hallelujah hallelujah and most of them are just living well we, we just want to be well hallelujah all of us want to be in our own houses all of us want to dress well all of us want to get the best jobs not only the jobs but all of us will want to earn and just relax hallelujah and i think there is that the, lately there is a lot of conversation about passive income invest while you and your money is coming and, and when, you, when you speak to finance consultants they will tell you that should be your dream you, you somewhere in maldives you should be somewhere around the beach and uh, there is that there is that message that comes in of money what we a message and, and was telling me today is my birthday I'm waiting for that sound of ting ting and I was asking them what is that sound and he was telling me you don't know what that sound comes with hallelujah and, and all that is what we strive in life we strive so much for 
the, the outside to look well. But how many of us turn back and focus on what is eternal? There comes a time when this body is going to remain. But there is what is going to be taken. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to relate this with faith. The reason why we have fear is because every time we have to satisfy the body because the body is full of needs praise the name of the Lord our bodies are full of needs and sometimes we, we, we do not meet all the we do not meet all the needs of what the body needs hallelujah, hallelujah. that's why you find that the, moment, the, the time you do not have money the only problem you think about uh, the only problem you think about is getting money and one of your greatest fears could be how do I make the money then you get to a stage where you've gotten the money the greatest fear is how do I maintain this money now you're maintaining the money. What is the greatest fear? How do I multiply this money? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Solomon reminds us Solomon and says it's all vanity. It's a wild chase. And all is, is to please the body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you've dressed nicely. Yes, you smell nicely. Yes, you have the passive income. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have all these that life has. Yes, you're driving your dream car. Yes, you're having a dream home. But of what value is it? Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible says. Yeah, Bible gamba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Luke 18:8. Bible gamba Luke kuminamnana monana. Just get me Luke uh, 8, 18, 8. Luke kuminamnana kunyedirwa monana. The Bible says. Bible gamba. I tell you that. Bagamba chipe. You will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless. When the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith? Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Just turn to your neighbor and ask them if the Son of Man comes, will he find faith in you? Amen. Hallelujah. So this verse shows us that even as the Bible reminds us that as small as a mustard seed if you have that faith but it's also a task that is upon us to ensure that we grow our faith we just saw in Hebrews 11:6, 6 where the Bible says it's impossible to please God without faith but if the Son of Man comes and He does not find faith in, in us, would we have lived a life that is pleasing before Him? These are, these are questions that we need to keep asking ourselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. If the Son of Man comes, will He find faith among men? Tough question. Hallelujah. 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 But I encourage you, child of God. It's an encouragement to you, child of God, tonight. That you need 
You need to start building your faith. You need to start building your faith. Because the only way we please God is by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and, and when I was looking into the definition of faith, one, one of the dictionaries was, was saying this. Saying faith is complete trust or confidence or confidence. Amen. Amen. Faith is trust and confidence when you have confidence in someone but you're having confidence in what you've not seen and I think that's how the Bible puts it and it says, it says the, the belief of the unseen the belief of the unseen hallelujah, hallelujah. but Many a times, many a times as human beings, as people of flesh, we live by sight. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Show me, and I will tell you. Show me, and I will tell you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. You know, the Bible is a little bit contradictory. Like, how do you have evidence of something you have not seen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought evidence comes on physical things. But the Bible says the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The evidence of things not seen. How many are the things that you don't see on a daily? How many are the things that you've been praying for. How many other things that God has promised in your life? How many other things that you cannot put a picture to? But it's what God has, 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 has commanded over your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The evidence of things and not seen. Wow. Wow. Like when you put evidence well, and not seen, like it's, 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 it's a, how, do, how do they call it? Is it an oxymoron? It's an oxymoron. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. These are statements that cannot be put together. But I am very much of a belief that this is exactly what the word of God says. It's a substance. Praise the Lord. It's a substance. It's a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. And I think sometimes, sometimes you find Many of us will start questioning ourselves. We, we question ourselves most of the times. And we ask ourselves, is this what I'm thinking about really possible? How many of us have those questions? Every day, when you wake up, do you always question yourself? Like, yes, God, you promised that this is mine. But, but how? And now that's where the fear comes in. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And the work of the enemy, the work of the enemy is to alter your faith. And when there is no faith, definitely there is fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the entrance of faith drives away fear. 
But the entrance of fear equally drives away the faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I remember uh, when, when we were studying physics. Very many years. And, 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 and uh, they were speaking about a vessel. And they were like, when a vessel is put in water, it displaces it displaces the water equal to its weight. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So if that vessel is faith, then it's going to drive away that fear equally. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So the weight that you put into that, in, into, 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 into the water, determines what is driven away. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I want to speak a little bit about the confidence. The Bible reminds us that this confidence we have in Christ, that one we are winners, that one we are victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. It's the confidence that we need to have in ourselves and faith brings confidence. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. When someone confronts you tonight and says, I do not look like you're going to make it. And most of the times I see us standing up and we are giving those fiery testimonies. That, 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 that judge of mine said, I'll never make it in life. I'll never amount to anything. I think that's the word is, which is used. You'll never amount to anything. But see how far I have come. See how far I have come. I want to give glory to God. And that is a typical displacement of fear. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a typical displacement of fear. What has been said about you? What does the reality say about you? You, you know, sometimes you do not need anyone to tell you some things. Sometimes the circumstances and the facts can prove themselves to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. You can look back at your background. You can look at how far you've come and the far you need to go. And you realize that this cannot happen. This cannot work. In all humanly and whatever effort you can put in, you can never get there. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I think uh, a few years back, I think a year or two, uh, I, I sat down and uh, I have a little bit of a background in finance. And you know what, what the finance specialists will always tell you is you need to put down a budget. You need to cut down your costs. Live within your means. There are those words that you keep on hearing. So I sat down. First of all, I, I wanted to identify my sources of income. So I listed them down. And then on the other hand, I also started listing down my expenses. Expected and those that were there. Of course, among them, there were school fees. There was rent. There was transport. Uh, there was medical. 
But of course the reality always downs. The expenses are always more than the income. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And one Sunday morning, a little bit discouraged, you come into the house of God. The man of God stands and says, you're going to make it. You're going to drive your dream car. You're going to live in that home. You're going, to, you're going to be debt free. And then fear whispers. It says, Do you remember the budget? <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you remember the expenses? Where are you going to get that extra income? Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 and I came to realize that for our dreams, our real dreams to come to, to, to reality, there are hundreds of millions that you need. But the reality is, you might not even see a million shillings in a month. So how does it work? Fear sets in. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how the devil works. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why every time you're meeting an an unbeliever, they are going to give you all these statistics. And they will tell you, but what what do you think can 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 change this? You're earning a million shillings. Your dream car is of two hundred million. Let's first compute. How many years do you need to work when you are saving completely a, a million shillings to make two hundred million? Mind-boggling. Hallelujah. Amen. It's mind-boggling. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And now that's where God calls us to faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says the evidence of things not seen. What is that that you've not seen? What is that that you've not seen? You've not even put in the picture of your mind. What, 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 what is that dream that keep, keeps you awake? Faith has the answer for it. Praise the name of the Lord. 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 And every time your confidence is challenged, every time your confidence is challenged, it means that fear, you're operating under fear. And some of us have have fears that some people can consider negligible. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Some of us just have fear for darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the Bible reminds me in the book of Genesis 1, I think somewhere there. Bible says God, God separated the day from the night. But some of us have great fear for the night. You start creating images. You remember when we were, were kids, you, you would start seeing a monster. That evening time when they are telling you cross over maybe to the kitchen and you start seeing a monster <laughs> only to realize the following morning that it was just maybe a growing tree or a stump of tree. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And I think someone put it this way and he says it's false evidence appearing real. And, 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 and I think this is not far from reality. Because, because the Bible says the evidence of things not seen. So this, is, this is false evidence appearing real. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And every time we have this fear in us, there is a feeling of 
of unworthiness. Every time you, you, you have fear in you, there is where you feel you are unworthy. You are like, this is not for me. It's for them. It's for those that have master's degrees. It's for those that, are, that, that, that have PhDs. So there is a feeling of being unworthy. No, that is for the pastors. No, that's for the children of the pastors. Like you start putting yourself in places that you do not belong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, that's, that's what, what fear does. Hallelujah. Amen. And there is, there is also, the, 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 it places you in a place of constant worry. And doubt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever woken up and you doubt yourself? You, you, you look around and like, but could this be really me? No, to no, 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 Is it me? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the work of fear. Hallelujah. Amen. And who is the author of fear? The devil is the author of fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because he knows that. Because he knows that. For you to please God, you need to have faith. Now, for you to displease God, the devil will put fear in you. And now that fear will put you in that place of constant feeling of being unworthy. The con- you will always be in a place of doubt. Like you're not always sure. They ask you and they're like, I'm not sure. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not sure when you are in fear. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And sometimes this fear just draws us back to the past. You are a drunkard. You've been a drunkard before. What statistics do you have that you are going to overcome drunkardness? You come from a poor background. That hilly mountainous village. What makes you think that you are going to succeed in this flat land? Hallelujah. Amen. That's that's fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So you find that your past is part of you. But you don't outgrow your past. This is going to be a hindrance to the building of your faith. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Another scheme that the enemy uses to ensure that we remain in fear is failure. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You try the first time, you fail. You try the second time, you fail. You try the third time, you like, ah, ah. This has refused. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I think I've been, I've, been, I've been reading some things from most of the people. They say to, today has refused. Let's try again tomorrow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So if again tomorrow it's the same thing, the chances are high that your spirit is going to be weighed down. And that's what the devil uses. Even in our workplaces, you just find that you are having trouble with your supervisor. You are doing everything humanly possible. But they do not see it. They are just waiting for that slight email that you did not send. And you will have 
endless sermons. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And this is just how the devil works. He will fight your faith from ba every corner. He will fight them through your workmates. He will even fight them through your family. He will even fight them through your church members. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But the Bible encourages us that in all these things we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I do not know what fear tops your list tonight. Some people, it could just be a cockroach. Hallelujah. Amen. And some people, it could be a warning letter that you have. And some of us, it could just be that you do not know what tomorrow holds. You've gone to school. You have good grades. You have what it takes. But life is just not working out. And every day that haunts you, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I think there is a study that was done. And I think this was a study on men. And it was like every time you see a man that is just relaxed, doesn't care. They just sit there. Know that there is a very big problem with them. And that problem could be just the fear of the unknown. Praise the name of the Lord. Just find a man is seated. Watching TV. TV. Like, can't you go anywhere? I'm here watching. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a very big problem. Hallelujah. Amen. There is fear for something. There is fear for failure. There is fear of the past. There is fear to be what as someone that has, has failed in life. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And tonight. God wants us to live by faith. Irrespective of how the circumstances look like. God wants us to live by faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I don't know if it's that budget. I don't know if it's that dream. I don't know if it's that step that you need to take. But I want you to take a step of faith. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to take that step. I don't know how many times that has failed. But there is another chance. Provided you are still there there is another chance. Praise the name of the Lord. And I think there is, there is a story that is commonly said. And I think this was uh, about uh, one of the greatest scientists called, called Einstein. Praise the name of the Lord. And, and not only that scientist, but um, you can imagine the you. discoveries that were made in the scientific world. How many trials? How many, many failures? How many days in and out were there? By these scientists. Ask your neighbor, why are you giving up? Have you tried a thousand times? Just ask them, have you tried a thousand times? What did they say? Then they, you are just starting. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us just to rise up on our feet. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight I was just speaking into our faith. That it is possible. Praise the name of the Lord. That it is not over yet. 
there is hope. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says there is more hope to a living dog Bible. than a dead lion. Hallelujah. You, you could be the dog that is living today. You could be the underdog. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the underdog today. But you are better than the lion that is dead. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to attack the remaining of this week. I want you to attack the remaining of this month. I want you to attack the remaining of this year. With as many trials as possible. And at the back of your mind, faith will be driving you and saying that unless we make it, we have to make it. It is a yes or a yes. Hallelujah. We make it or we make it. It is a yes or a yes. I want us to repeat that. We either make it. We either make it. Or we make it. It's a yes. Or a yes. Hallelujah. And the Bible says his promises are yea and amen. And if his promises are yes and amen. Who are you to bring the no? Who are you to bring the I have failed? Who are you to say it is not for me? Hallelujah. 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 You are encouraged, child of God. I encourage you, child of God. Wake up tomorrow. Wake up tomorrow. Go attack. Praise the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The faith has parted the river. The path has been created in the wilderness. An opportunity has been set for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The children of Israel were promised a, a, a land flowing with, with milk and honey. But there was a season of the desert. But many people lived in the desert. They got acclimatized to the desert and themselves became the desert. But there was the promised land waiting for them. There was the promised land waiting for them. And the Bible says that the few made it to the promised land. Those that believed, those that had faith, made it to the promised land. It was not visible. It was a desert. They said, we, we, we miss, we miss the, 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 the garlic and, and the nice smelling food in Egypt. We are tired of the manna in the desert. But they were short-sighted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And fear creates the short-sightedness We do not see what God has prepared for us ahead. We do not see what is ahead of us. We do not see the promised land. But child of God, I challenge you that what you're going through now, what you're going through today is just a preparation for you for your promised land. Of course, your promised land has the giants. Your promised land has the fruits. Your promised land has the milk. But there are some battles that you have to fight. But how will you fight the battles when you're not prepared? When you do not have the stamina. When you've not been in the dry. When you've not been in the lack. Praise the name of the Lord. The giants are going to swallow you alive. The giants are going to swallow you alive. Because you are not prepared for the promised land. So tonight I encourage you. That what is happening now. Is just for a season. What is happening now. It's just a preparation ground. What is happening to you right now? Is a training ground. 
for the promised land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to slay some giants. There are some wild animals along the way. There are some people that do not wish you well along the way. But if your faith is not sharpened in the desert, then along the way you will be you will fear the, the, the desert. You will fear the giants. And that's why the other reporters came and said they are giants. They are, scary. They are tall. But Joshua and Caleb decided to be on the better side of history. And they said the land flows with milk and honey. And the Lord has given us that land. Tell me if that is not faith. The reality is, yes, they are giants. Yes, they are 100 times, 50 times stronger than us. One giant can consume 100 of us. But what does faith say? The land flows with milk and honey. And the land is ours. Because the Lord has given us the land. Hallelujah. So in this journey of possessing the land, there is going to be a desert. There are going to be hard times. There are going to be moments where God seems to be asleep. There are going to be moments where you feel left out. There are moments that you are going to wait very long. But do not get tired of waiting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want us to rise up on our feet. I want you to just say this prayer to God. That when he comes, you may find you with faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? faith amongst uh, men? Uh, Will he find you with faith? Uh, or you would have been drawn and swayed away by fear? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. I want to just to speak to God. Tell him that he may find faith in you. That he may strengthen the faith in you. That he may plant that little mustard seed that, that faith may grow that it may be watered Hallelujah. 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 Father, we want to thank you. Just lift up your voice. Just lift up your voice before God. Father, that you may find us with faith. That you may find faith among men. That you may find faith in us, O oh God. That you may find faith in us, O oh God. For it is impossible. It is impossible to please you. It is impossible to be your children without faith. Father, this evening, we come before you, O oh God. We know that fear has engulfed us. Fear has taken up us, O oh God. Fear has run us down. And faith has been displaced. But tonight, Father, we come before you. We pray that you may plant faith in us again. By us hearing your word again. By us sitting down at your feet. And listening again, listening to your precepts, listening to your guidance, listening to your directions. Oh, Father, we bless you. We thank you for your children. We thank you for your sons and daughters. We thank you for each one of us, oh God. I come against every spirit of fear. I come against every spirit of fear. Fear for the unknown. Fear for tomorrow. Fear for failure. Fear for unworthiness. Fear of the past. I come and cancel it. 
I come and denounce it in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. Father, I pray that you may put faith back to us. Give us faith, O God. Give us faith, O God. A little faith, O God. Just that little faith. The little faith, O God. The faith that moves mountains. The faith that moves mountains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you so much. I pray that that word has encouraged your spirit. I pray that that word has stirred up your spirit for your next step. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Everywhere you go, every place you are in, remind yourself that God is pleased by faith. And try within what you can. Try and, and, and ensure that you sharpen your faith. The Bible says it comes by hearing. It comes by hearing. May your ears be open to the word of God. May your ears be ready not for the words but for the word of God. Because by by, by bringing in that word, your faith is established. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, uh, I, I just want to ask us to, to get into our pockets and just uh, attach a seed to this word. It's by faith. Hallelujah. It's by faith. Our giving is by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's by faith. And we do it willingly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. May God increase your faith. That your faith will be uncompromised. Amen. Kindly take your seats as we take a few announcements. I want to appreciate you so much for coming and uh, just remind us that our DOM project is still ongoing. It's by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are millions of dollars that are needed. But by faith, God is going to provide. By faith, God is going to use you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of us that have played for the windows and the doors, for the, child, for the children's tabernacle, you're reminded to <laughs>